Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to My Virgin Kitchen. I'm back again with Binny from the Sweet Cumin Cookery School and today we're showing you how to make a delicious chickpea curry. This recipe goes amazing with the rice we made on the very last uh, video, right? Yeah. So um, there's a playlist we made out, check that out at the end, or if you're feeling uh, lazy and you wanna hurry, just uh, click on this little box down here right now if you have annotations turned on. Uh, so all the ingredients you're gonna need today uh, are right here, so hit pause on the video when Binny actually clicks her fingers, like that. Hit pause on the video and write them down. We've got a curry to make. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use, um, we're gonna add the oil to the pan. Fantastic. Okay. Is that olive oil or? That is vegetable oil. Right, so with that pan nice and hot, um, we have got some spices, right? We have. So, first thing is the cassia bark. Cassia bark. Now, that's a crazy looking thing. Yeah, right it's, part, it's part of the cinnamon family, so it has a lovely sweetness to it. Nice. And that's what we're going to add. <coughs> what we're going to do is wait for this to sizzle. Mm -hmm. Once it starts to sizzle, we're then going to add in some garlic. Wow. In it goes, all right? That's cool. So, oh, it's starting to sizzle? Yeah, that will sizzle. Wow. It will go from a white to like a, a lovely brown colour. Oh. Next is the cumin seed, like so. Like before, they're going to sizzle into the saucepan or into the oil like so. They'll go from a, a green colour to a brown. In goes the onions. So what Vinny's doing is caramelising up the onions and this is your chance. If you want a like, real sweet kind of feel, you can just cook them a lot longer. You've got that nice funky colour, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're going to add the lid, put the lid on, okay. like so. Reduce that heat to a simmer, so like that. Cool. And we're gonna let them soften yep. and sweeten. So we've got some time to kill while the onions are cooking away and there's some spices there left over and we're just gonna mix them together, right? We are, yeah, it's important to do that. But I'll tell you what we've got. Coriander and cumin, garam masala, turmeric, chilli powder and salt. Fantastic. So we just merge it together to make one big spice. <laughs> yes. There we go. Wow. Give them a good mix. Here's the onions. Okay, they're nice looking good. Nice and golden. Wow, I'm loving that colour. And caramelising beautifully. Wow. Okay, great. So Next uh, stage. Yeah. Our spices are all mixed up in the corner there we did before. Yeah, they're there. So it's the ginger, garlic and chilli paste. We're nice going to cook going that up. Wow. You can see now that the ginger, garlic and chilli is beginning to brown at the base of my pan. Yeah. Can you see? That's looking amazing. <laughs> okay, next is the um, dry spices. Okay. Wow. Okay. Cool. They're going to love that going on there. Yeah. Stir that through. And then it's the tin tomatoes. So just a, a standard tin? Yeah, I mean, I've put 300 millilitres in this one, okay? Yeah. And they're plum tomatoes. I've got to say right now, the smell is incredible uh, right down there. I'm struggling uh, to hold the camera. So what are we putting in next? Next is the coriander. Coriander, okay. Cool. You can see the oils are beginning to come to the surface. It's when you get the little volcanoes in the middle, mm -hmm. and that's when you add the sauce, uh, add your main ingredient in, whatever you decide. Yeah. So this could be well. What would you put in your curry base? Cook? This is like a base sauce. Mm -hmm. That's a quick, quick thing to do. You can see all the oils coming to the surface. Okay. And that's only been two or three minutes, right? Yeah, on sort of a medium to high temperature. Fantastic. Okay, and then you decide what you're going to put in. So we're going to put in chickpeas. Uh -huh. I've gone with a white variety. Cool. Nice and, and cheap from, and cheerful. They are, yeah. From the from the can. Yep. Rather than um, boiling. What I'm going to do is going to put in 100 millilitres first. So yep. very 100 ml. Try and get that in. Yeah, about there. Okay, great. Okay. Wee. There we go. And then, give it a stir. Okay. Fantastic. Oh, the smell is incredible. So another 100 ml, yeah? Another 100 ml. Yeah, uh -huh. in it goes. Wow. Give so, that a really good stir. So it's a little watery at the moment. Yeah, and that basically will allow the chickpeas to absorb the water yeah. and also allow them to cook. Wow. Okay. Put the lid on and cook for 20 minutes on a simmer. Brilliant. Okay. It's been 20 minutes, Barry. We're ready for our chickpea curry. Amazing. Can't Amazing. wait. Amazing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to use the back end of a wooden spoon. Okay. I'm going to squish, like so. Oh, splattered the chickpea. S splattered chickpea. It's there. Cool. Okay. So, so we know that's cooked. Yeah. And also, you can see some oil coming to the surface. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that. Spoon it into a bowl. Top with fresh coriander. This recipe would go great with Binny's rice recipe that you saw on the very last video. If you didn't, check out the playlist by clicking the bowl or wait for the links at the end. But this is how you make my delicious chickpea curry. Mmm. 
Wow. Isn't that good? Yeah, this chickpeas are so soft. There's going to be layers of flavour on there. It's kind of hot, but kind of not. It's teasing you. Try the coriander in there. Mmm. Like the nuttiness as well. It's, mm. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. <laughs> it's cheap, it's easy, it's quick, it's simple, and it's fun. And if you want more recipes like that, or if you want to stalk Binny, check out sweetcumin.co.uk, their Twitter and Facebook, and we'll see you again next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.